Hi, Terry Schoenfeld here for UAB School of Medicine. In this video, we'll define risk factors and prognostic factors, and we'll talk about how they differ from each other. Prognostic factors are individual traits of the patient or the condition itself that make specific outcomes of that disease more or less likely to occur. They could be a variety of things. They could be demographic factors like age, race, gender. It could be disease-specific features like stage of the disease, various complications that develop from the disease. Or there could be a variety of comorbid conditions that the patient has. Now, prognostic factors do not have to be causal of the outcome, and often they're not, but they do have to be associated with development of the outcome. Now, risk factors, on the other hand, are factors associated with increased probability of becoming diseased. They are causal. They lead to disease. But they don't have to affect the probability of developing an outcome of the disease once it's developed. This table tries to differentiate risk factors from prognostic factors. First off, the patient populations are very different. Risk factors deal with healthy patients, whereas prognostic factors deal with sick patients. The outcomes are very different. Risk factors are associated with development of onset of disease, whereas prognostic factors are associated with development of disease consequences. And the rates of d development of these outcomes are very different. Risk factors tend to predict low probability events, even though some diseases are common, when you look at the whole population, they're actually fairly rare. But prognostic factors deal with relatively frequent events. Once you have a disease, you're going to have some outcome from it, even if that outcome is simple recovery. So much more frequent events. Let's look at this graphically. So let's follow a person who is well, but who has a variety of risk factors for developing an acute myocardial infarction. And those risk factors are listed here, increasing age, male gender, cigarette smoking, hypertension, abnormal lipids, and inactivity. Now, once you develop an acute MI, a variety of outcomes could happen to you. You could die, you could develop heart failure, you could have another heart attack, or you could recover. And a variety of factors predict that prognosis of what's going to happen to you after developing an acute MI, and they're listed here. Now, interestingly, some things are both risk factors and prognostic factors, like increasing age and cigarette smoking. But other things aren't. And one of the interesting things when you look at blood pressure is a different relationship between being a risk factor in which high blood pressure is a risk factor for an MI, whereas if it was actually low blood pressure, it might protect you from developing an MI. But once you've had an MI, having a low blood pressure be a very bad thing. It predicts a very bad outcomes. So hopefully you can see here how risk factors and prognostic factors differ from each other. They interact at different parts of the disease process. And sometimes some factors are both risk factors and prognostic factors, but usually they're very different. hope this video has helped you understand the differences between risk factors and prognostic factors. Remember, if you have any questions, you can contact me on the course website or through the Contact Me section of my blog. Have a great day.